Hi everybody, it's Lisa with Harmony House Art. Uh, I had to do a talkie today because <clears throat> with the paint mixing, there's just too much. I can't, I cannot think I can get it all on the screens. Okay, so today I started out with, I tried to get a good um, variety of the different kinds of paint you might run into. Some of everything, I hope, so you can see how I do it. I'm not saying it's the right way, it's just how I do it. And I do like my paints a little on the thick side. So, we'll just start out with this Amsterdam. <clears throat> it's pretty typical for the Liquitex Basics in Amsterdam. I just I don't measure anything. I just squirt it in the bottom. And then add the flow trawl and I'm going to call this like a four parts flow trawl, one part paint. I think these are 3 ounce cups. And stir like crazy. <clears throat> And you'll be able to see, I think, uh, when I drizzle, or whatever you call that, off the stick, it's it does leave a puddle for a minute, or a second, or a few seconds. You can see. I still don't have all the Floetrol mixed in that one, but you can see the, I think, maybe the consistency. That's all I do. That's In fact, that's probably 95% of... All, everything I do is just like this. I love the Amsterdam, so I use it a lot. But I wanted to give you kind of an overview of the different things. Um, I, this deco art, I love this gold. And I do it a little differently just because it, it's a different, it's just a different paint. So I just dump it out, no measuring. And I'm going to call this probably a one part paint to one part flow trawl. I do like to leave these metallics on the thicker side. In fact, in this one I got, I had, I actually put in too much flow trawl. And I'm going to add a little paint back to it just to get it kind of, I don't like that milky look. And if you've never used flow trawl, it does, the white, does dry clear but so and the, so that means your paintings will dry darker than what you're mixing but um, there we go get that gold back in there so um, but I do like the metallics a little thicker I don't like it to look milky and sometimes the flow trawl if you overdo the flow trawl with the metallics you get that milky look and it doesn't sell very very well so there you go, and that's a little thicker, thicker consistency. So then I'm just using a craft paint. It's just the uh, Deco Art, I don't know, Car Carolina Blue or Caribbean Blue or something. I think it's Carolina Blue because it's that color. Also, no measuring. Just dump it in there. This is going to be probably a one-to-one -one ratio. One part paint, one part flow trawl. It's a thinner paint than the tube and, and then the metallics. So you're going to need less it's going to go less far than the more concentrated paints. And there you can see that consistency as well.
So this one, I'm going to use one of the Golden High Flow colors. And you notice I put the flow trial in first, and then I can determine. I, I usually start with just a few drops of color and see if it's the tint I want. So I'm adding more to get the deeper, that's a actually dioxazine purple. So while that first color was really pretty, and that would be an easy way to mix a nice la light lavender um, to, to show you the true color of the paint. I'm going, going with more in there. Make, making sure, and th this paint is actually transparent, so that's why we're having, it's a little, uh, taking more paint to color the flow trawl. And this is the um, My Artscape. I love this collection. I got it probably a year and a half ago, maybe. Anyway, it's like a heavy paste. It's kind of somewhere between a probably a medium body, maybe me medium to heavy. Um, it. I do have a little more mixing issues with this, and I put so dang much paint in there. I don't know why I put that much in that little cup, but. Um, You'll see. You'll see how I, I don't use water to thin paint. I hate, I was having cracking, you know, paint cracking problems and all that. Stopped using water, paint stopped cracking, so I just don't do it anymore. So, if I need to, if I get one too thick, like you're going to see this is too thick and globby, um, I do a couple of, uh, I try a couple of different ways. You can just see how thick and globby that is. I, I put way too much paint in there, but this is going to be a good excuse to show you how I thin my paints if I if they need to be thinned. So my first option is the Liquitex pouring medium. Give it a good squirt in there, and also not measuring, and see if that's enough to help. See if that adds the not even thinning, but more like the viscosity, so that it's a, mm, easier to move. You can see that does help. It's much less globby and thick and chunky. It's still a little on the chunky side. I think I'm going to put some Flow Aid, Golden Flow Aid, is what I use. In it's like you can see on the top there's like what five drops six drops something like that is all it takes usually mm, that's much better much better that stuff's great it's expensive I don't but but I don't use it very often and I don't use it very much so that's cool can see how much better that is there. That's about right. Like I say, I do like my paints on the thicker side. Okay, so milk paint. If anybody still got some, here's how I do it. And I know there are a hundred thousand ways to do this, but um, 
and I've done it a hundred ways, probably at least. I, I'm not careful about mixing. I'm just not. So I'm not advocating to be careless, but I just don't. I think if I had to measure everything out, it would ruin the fun for me. So I squirt some. I start off with the Artist Law Flow Acrylic in the bottom. Shake the bejesus out of that milk paint because it's... And I got one that wasn't opened. Not cool. Okay, got the opened one. Um, and I just pour some in over top of... The artist's loft. I mean, could you call that one-to-one? -one? Probably. Yeah, it's half and half. Here's the other thing I do, because I don't have any white left. I add the golden high-flow titanium white to dye that winter harbor as light as I can get it without ruining the milk effect. I haven't even added Floetrol yet. This is just me playing in the paint. So, I mean, I, I don't, I guess that's one part paint, one part Floetrol, but you, you see what I did to the paint before I ever added the Floetrol, so I try to make it as low tech as possible, just so it's not a burdensome thing to do. Okay, here we go. Golden Heavy Body. Yes, these paints are expensive, but when you see how little paint I use, it, it, it makes sense why they're, they're actually pretty affordable. Uh, one little blob. Yeah, add a second little blob. There you go. There you go. Not... <clears throat> I'm guessing this ratio is going to be more like an 8 to 1, maybe, or 10 to 1. It takes a little more mixing just because it is a heavier, denser paint, very highly pigmented. Uh, this one is the Prussian Blue. There you go. You can see how little paint it takes to make that beautiful blue. And just a little bit, I start. I use the Liquitex Pouring Medium as a first option if it's a little too dense. And usually that <clears throat> that alone is enough to um, <laughs> <laughs> that alone is enough to make it um, the right consistency. These Yahoo's, I, <laughs> God, you guys, stop. So there you go. A little bit of flow aid. It's harder to see on that darker color, but just about the same consistency. It leaves a puddle for or pool, yeah, puddle for a minute. It leaves a form, a mound. Okay, last one. This is a Pearl X pigment. I don't know if any of you guys have played with the pigment powders. Do you have to do them a little differently, or I do them a little differently? I start out with just a little bit of real pouring medium, not Floetrol. So there's just a, just enough to cover the bottom of the cup. And I don't.
don't add anything else until that's thoroughly mixed. The powders, if you put the powder in and then uh, like Floetrol or whatever, it comes back at you, it kind of sprays out back out of the cup and you don't want to inhale that stuff. So it helps if you put a little medium, then the powder, then the Floetrol. And honestly, this one, it, you don't even need the Floetrol. You could just, if I had more uh, Liquitex, I would just do purely Liquitex and the, and the pigment powder. But I'm almost out, so. Okay, big mistake here. Don't do that. Um, that is a pain in the neck to get mixed up. Um, adding pigment after you've already got a partial mix is just a mess, and it it clots and lumps and makes just it's just a pain to get get it right after that anyhow you can see that's pretty thin there we go a little bit more liquitex and that'll do it so thank you guys Thank you so very much for watching. It means the world to me. It really does. I love you guys. You're wonderful people. So thank you for being here, and I hope this helps you get your paints mixed up. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.